god. Oh. Goodbye, shelf. Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. And it's time that I leave. This tiny room that doesn't have enough room for all my nail polish. <laughs> yup, your girl is finally moving. I've been in here for six years. Moving also means that I have to pack over 2,000 bottles of glass with nail polish inside of them. F*** my life. And if you've been following me on Snapchat, you will have known that we've been living elsewhere for almost two months now and just coming back here to film every weekend. Which does mean that you will no longer see this room in my videos anymore. <laughs> but instead, you'll get to see my new nail polish room. That's right, we are dedicating a room to nail polish. <laughs> now let me just let you in on a little secret that I'm excited as hell for. We hired custom shelf builders to build me custom f nail polish shelves. <laughs> like who does that? <gasps> this girl. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you guys the shelves, you're gonna freak. But ah, okay, anyways, calm down. Today is a sad day. <laughs> Well, it's not sad, but you know, it's a time of change. I got some newspaper, some bubble wrap, some plastic bins and cardboard boxes. And I think I have a good packing strategy in mind to try and reduce the number of breaks or preferably keep it at zero. There will be no tragedies during this move. I cannot afford any casualties. <sighs> Where do I even begin? Wait a second. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, kind sir. Oh my god, you got me a venti? I know you have a long day ahead of you. Help me! I wonder if this will take as long as it took me to get to Polish Mountain. Hi, children! <laughs> oh, it's dusty. Why does no one ever clean this place? It's so dusty in here. <laughs> okay, bitches. You're coming with me. Bubble wrap. I think I'm just gonna take two at a time, roll it, and then add two more. Make ourselves a nice little nail polish sandwich and pack it in like a lunch. Although I might need breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is what happens when you spend four years collecting nail polish. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Hoarders. On today's episode, we have a troubled young woman who goes by the name Simply Nail Logical. This addiction has become such a problem that it has alienated her from her friends and family. In fact, she no longer has friends. I need more friends. <sighs> All right, now we got three little burritos and nail polish. And in between the layers of burritos, I'm gonna put more bubble wrap. So that's like the tortilla or the taco. <laughs> oh look, speaking of tacos, one of you guys gave me this. You put a glossy taco in a taco. Oh look, it's a little menchie pottery face. One of you guys made this for me. Why is it on my nail polish shelf? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my knees hurt. I'm such an old woman. I can't sit like that. Wait a second. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you might be wondering how long it took me to grow such a collection to this size. I would say I've always kind of had nail polish as long as I can remember, but my use of nail polish never necessitated the need for a shelf until around the time when I actually started my YouTube channel. Back when I posted nail art tutorials and that's it. <laughs> But I've always been addicted to hollow, even before it was a trend, okay? I have proof on my abandoned blog from 2014. Actually, I used to keep a spreadsheet of every single nail polish that I own because I love Excel spreadsheets. Then it got out of hand and I didn't even have time to update it anymore. <laughs> so sad for a data nerd when you don't have data entry. Everyone likes to collect things, you know? Everyone has their thing. Some other YouTubers might collect uh, Lamborghinis or Cartier bracelets or Gucci hands. And bags. But I think my collection is just, you know, a little cheaper to maintain. <laughs> Onto this row. I'm gonna go this way, and then this way, and then this way, and all the way up to the top. I wanna sit on my ass as long as possible. 
<laughs> I often get the question, how much have you spent on nail polish? I couldn't tell you off the top of my head exactly how much because that is not something I like to keep an accurate record of. <laughs> that being said, I did get a lot of what you see here in PR, so companies sent them to me for free. Okay, we got one tub of nail polish down. <laughs> So this shelf clearly isn't nail polish, it's a bunch of my hollow glitters. And I think we can skip the maximum packing protection here because they're not glass, they're in plastic bottles. So I'll just divide them with one layer of bubble wrap and you know, I think they'll be safe. Hey, if we manage to break plastic bottles in this move, then it'll be like a glitter bomb surprise when you open this tub up. Cause I don't get enough of those in the mail to my PO box from you guys. <laughs> That's kind of related to one of the reasons why we moved. Because you send us so much shit that we need space for more shit. <laughs> slightly heavier to carry. <laughs> exercise so hard in my life. I feel like I've been here for 24 years. What's going on in the world that I never enter? Are people still recreating other people's tutorials? Hey, does someone want to recreate this? Are notifications still broken? Is Baby Ariel still a baby? Is Trum Trum still doing banana life hacks? Did the blue eyed girl get her freedom? I need help to finish this mission. I think I need Bam. Ban! Ban? You need more tea? No, not exactly, but I need you. <laughs> oh, careful there, those are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you let Ben! You're supposed to live one at a time. Okay, you show off. Okay, Ben, I'm gonna show you how to wrap, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, I'm a nail polish whore. Five, six, seven, eight, you better f appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we have to go this way. We can't go up yet. I'll be cheating. <laughs> At this point, I just want to get it done. I'm not too worried. But, 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 but that's not the correct order, Ben. <laughs> the rule is you have to use the name of the nail polish in the sentence. Hey, honey bin. <laughs> you look like a siren. <laughs> I don't think that kind of siren. Oh, like a like a Starbucks siren? Yeah. Good thinking. I think I know where you <laughs> Guess what? I don't want your kids. <laughs> this is a fun game. Yeah. If you had a channel, I would still one up it. You couldn't make like a Mario <laughs> or video game joke there. Closure. That's what we need. <laughs> Honor roll. That's what I was on. Happily ever after. That's not us. I can't find f***ing <laughs> closure. I can't find closure! Ben, I f***ing see you. I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> That's not the name of a polish! Hey Ben, yesterday I had missed calls. You calling yourself again? <laughs> 
Ben? Shut up. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that this might be a good opportunity to, you know, get rid of some polish you're never going to use or donate it? I can get someone else to help me if you wish. <laughs> Never been more so. You should subscribe to me. Remember when we were in the drugstore a while ago and you were just like looking at the nail polish and some random woman comes up to you and starts like giving you advice on yeah. <laughs> which nail polish? That was stupid. I was just standing in the aisle, like just observing the, you know, the lack of hollow. And then some lady decides that she should let me know her advice. And so she goes, oh, Essie's a great brand. You should try that one. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh my God, it's my teeth. <laughs> oh, hey, Ben. Look what I found. <laughs> We're almost there, Ben. Your side is looking a little left okay, shoulder though. Come on, my side. I'm responsible for this. That's right. Oh look, my two life accomplishments. My first YouTube play button and my master's thesis. <laughs> Pick a path. <laughs> what are you more proud of? I don't know, I feel like this was more work. <laughs> They're empty. <laughs> like my emotional capacity. How does it how does it feel? I, I seriously, how does it feel? How does it feel? <laughs> when I first mentioned that we were moving, everyone was like, oh, are you moving to LA? <laughs> no! That would be too predictable of a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't think I would fit in in LA. Also, I don't really just want to be like a famous person, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> In June 2013, you built me the first shelf, the one furthest on the left. Almost five years ago. And then I think they saw the shelf for the first time on my Instagram. Then eventually the nail polish started expanding onto my like bookshelves that I needed for school. <laughs> and it was becoming a problem. Build me a new nail polish shelf. Please? It's not a problem anymore. Cause Ben will build more shelves. Just put a banana in his ear. A few months after you surprised me with the second shelf for my birthday in October. But we didn't film that cause I didn't know that you were doing that. And this was before I even showed my face on YouTube, I think. Can't remember. Yeah. Feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah. <laughs> and then not even a year later, after two shelves, I needed more room. So I asked you for a third shelf. But then you were like, F man, this is the third time I've had to build a f shelf. Why don't I just build you two shelves at the same time? Yeah, so you built easy. number three and four together. And that was in our shelf building video. And I remember I f them up, right? I mismeasured the number of shelves. So that doesn't make any sense, does it? And that was after you were so confident in measuring multiple times. Every 14.8 centimeters if you want to put eight shelves. The better you do a job of measuring at the beginning, the less likely you are to make mistakes. The less likely you are to make mistakes. And they got better as they went. Like, the first one does not look good. There's like nails popping out of it. It's all slanted. But then they progressively get better as you shift that way. The shelves are actually sloping because of the weight of the nail polish. Yeah. I guess we didn't reinforce the middle of the board at the backboard at all. No, I just didn't use a level even, I don't think, right? So. That's why, in our new home, we hired professional shelf builders. <laughs> you didn't trust me to do it? <laughs> you know, I think thanks to YouTube and thanks to you guys, we could afford to pay someone to build the shelves and not put Ben through that again. <laughs> so Ben thanks you guys very much for that support. Yes, thank you. Wanna hear a real throwback? So in my abandoned blog, <laughs> I once wrote, in August of 2015, shit got really out of control and we built two more shelves. By then I had over a thousand followers Polishes. Now that my entire office wall is covered in shelves, there's really no more room to store any nail polish. 
Which is why I'm saving for a bigger house. <laughs> Winky face. I have over 2,000 nail polishes now. I just, I stopped counting. I've been keeping some in boxes in a closet. It's been spilling out into the condo as well. It's in our kitchen. We haven't had a kitchen table in years because I use that as my office desk. That's where I sit all night editing videos. Or we had like one spot on the couch that you could sit because the rest was covered in children's nail toys. It is kind of sad in a way to leave it but the change will be a good one because we will have a much more functional space. I want to know what your favorite memory is from this room. Comment down below, say hello. <laughs> well, I think it's time to take the shelves down. And in my next video, you'll get to see the new shelves. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for my new shelves. I'm sorry, I mean, I love your shelves. Thank you for <laughs> building them. When you're putting them on, you should <laughs> count and see how many you have. Oh, I can't count that high. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time in my new nail polish room. Bye! As we go What the f is this? This is why we hire professionals.